You know, I sit in this moment in such awe of who God is and the work God has done in my life. I look at how I stand, how I speak, how I move, and it hit me just a second ago. I've been transformed. I'm not the same person that I once was. I think about how needy and how weak and how fearful I once was. And I'm not that person anymore. I thought about how I was trying to be someone who wasn't scared, but I was full of fear. It was all an act. I was trying to be a good Christian. And meanwhile, I was so dang hateful in my heart <laughs> that it was all just an act. I thought about how small I was, how scared I was to be able to share my opinion, to speak and express who I really was. And now I find myself unable to shut up. <laughs> I'm making videos. God, help me to shut up. <laughs> I was in front of just the doctor today. And I was like looking at him in his eye. And he tried to blow me off on something that I said and I circled back to it and I'm like, this is why I was saying it. <laughs> yeah, we're not just gonna run over Jennifer. My hairstylist was lagging and blowing me off and then was like all of a sudden, yeah, I got an appointment for you. you no, know, I don't switch stylists. No, thank you. I think about the woman who I ministered to in the middle of the store and she was giving me excuses and telling me about who she was and who she wasn't. And I boldly told her, you need to get your life together and give it to God. And as she tried to go back and forth, I'm like, no, I'm standing on God today. You need to too. When I come on this video, I don't know what takes over. I know it's the Holy Spirit, but I'm like, the Holy Spirit through me is amazing. How did I get this way? How did I get to the point where I feel strong, I feel bold, I feel secure, I feel confident in who I am? And it's not just to act. I really am unmoved and unbothered by others. I think about how I was standing with my husband and his friend. I was really excited to see and I was like, oh, hey, how's it going? And I didn't receive good energy. So immediately I just turned back to my husband and started talking to him and didn't look back. How did I get so strong in me and be able to really value me and see my worth in me? How did I get so strong? How did I get so committed to the Lord when I didn't even want to get up and pray? I didn't even want to get up out of my bed and go into my prayer closet. And I mentioned this before in my videos. Yeah. I wrote God a prayer one day and was like, God, help me. I'm so comfortable the way I am. I don't want the requirement of you. Help me to get to you. And look what happened. <laughs> he really did it, y'all. He really transformed me. He really made me a fortified city, an iron pillar, so I could stand. And how did he do this? 
It wasn't of a snap of the fingers. It was him drawing me unto himself day after day after day. I remember going through counseling sessions with the Lord where the Lord was like, write down every instance in which you felt rejected by a person. Write their name down. Write down the source of rejection. This is what you carry with you as a pain center. And this is what people are tapping into today. And it's not people, it's Satan through people. Like he walked me through it. Isaiah calls him the wonderful counselor. He had nights where he was counseling me like a therapist, y'all. But better than a therapist because it was tailor-made therapy that was specific to all of my life. Past, present, and future. Day by day, he showed me people and what they were doing and how they were treating me and how I should respond. Day by day, he showed me who I was. He taught me how to set boundaries. Give that person 10 minutes. Leave that person alone. They're not for you. Tell this person this and be done with it. That person's a distraction. Get away from them. He showed me that. He is like the rebar placed within my very body to strengthen me, to gird me up. Who is this person? I don't recognize, but I like her. <laughs> I'm a keeper. People talk about God like he's so distant. Like he's just an entity in the sky somewhere. Your heavenly father is in you, through you, all around you. He's omnipresent. This God is so powerful. This God is so knowledgeable. Think what he did with the universe. He can do it with you. He could do it in you. Y'all, he repaired my marriage like you wouldn't believe. I don't even understand how he restored us. We don't been married for 22 years and he did such a great work. My husband is not the same. I don't even recognize him. I don't recognize us. It's a thing of beauty. What he did for my love and my desire for my household I was over it. I was like, I must have missed the domesticated lesson growing up because <laughs> I'm not here for it. But he had me grow with such a love for my household and wanting to care for it and the people in it. I'm waiting to get back to see what I could do. Gosh, the Lord can restore and heal and change and transform so that it's real. Your boldness, your courage, your self-worth, your desire for the things that he wants in your life. The transformation, it's all real. The resurrecting power of God can move through your life so heavy, you won't even recognize it. I don't even look the same. Nevertheless, am I the same? How did it happen? I don't know. Moment by moment, day by day, week by week, month by month of just surrendering to God and following the instruction of God and sitting with God and being with God I've been changed. I am a new creature in Christ. Not because I said a prayer, but because I gave the Lord my surrender. I gave the Lord my life and what he did with it. Oh, I love it. And I'm encouraging you to do the same. Give God you and watch what he do with you. You gonna like it, baby. You ain't going to recognize you. You ain't going to recognize your life. You ain't going to recognize the people that he placed in your life. Because he not going to do a work just in you. He doing a work with everybody that's attached to you and everything. Give God a try.